a woman that was told by her doctor you have 12 years to live because of cancer and she contacted a preacher in Abuja and that one has collected 2 point something million already from her to raise altar to, to buy a cow and kill does a man of God deal with cows and goats it is winch doctors that deal with cows and goat. A man of God has only one tool in his house, in his hands. It is called B I B I B L E. Basic instruction before leaving earth. It is called the Bible. This is the only tool of a true man of God. No water, no salt, no mantle, no stone. This is a tool. The word of the Lord. Because where the word of the Lord is, there is power. Welcome to the moment of truth. Apostle Takim is not lying. I've done a video about that guy. His name is Victor OK, and he's still stealing it today. And your men of God, your big guys are not saying anything. They are busy collecting money for them to father them. The same thing happened to Austin Fanny. I've done a video about it as well. They collected fowl, uh, cow, and uh, money from him as well. They are all Babala wolves. They are all Abalis. There is no Christ in them. Stay tuned. They spoke of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. Thou shall meditate in it day in and day out that I may observe to do according to what is written therein. That you will make your way prosperous and you will have good success. This is the tool of a preacher. Any other thing is a wizard. And the woman money was collected and the man now started asking her to even buy suit so that as he wear the suit and preach the presence of god will take away disease it is called stealing by tricks that guy is lucky i'm in kenya he said in abuja i will look for him we beat him up thoroughly I, because they are disgracing the name of the lord god almighty and if you see the way he was talking so boldly like a thief and i said why can't this woman recognize that this is a thief this is a thief on the pulpit, soiling the name of the Lord. The kingdom of God suffered violence, and the violence will take it by force. These are not days for lily livered people. People like that should be beaten thoroughly because they are disgracing the name of the Lord. Are you understanding me? Jesus is so simple. It's so simple that he can heal you without fasting. That's how simple he is. He's so simple that he can deliver you without you praying and fasting. You don't need to go on dry fasting to be free from demons. Jesus is so simple that he can deliver you right there in your room without calling a pastor. That is how simple he is. But we make him complicated. And look at what our father said. Second Corinthians chapter 11. He said, but I fear this somehow. As a serpent deceived it by its craftiness, so your minds may be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Verse 4 For if he who comes preaches another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if you receive a different spirit which you have not received, or a different gospel which you have not accepted. You may well put up with it. Do you know why people are putting up with lying gospel? With another Jesus. Another Jesus will make you comfortable in your sin. So because... Can you believe that after the fake miracle of her flukao, and he ran away from South Africa because he was casted, despite the fact that Ashimolo went there to endorse him again, you know, he ran back. And people still follow him and he continue in his evil. These men, the people that are in the churches of all these men, they are not Christian themselves. They don't know Christ themselves. They are pagan, they are desperate people. And you cannot be desperate and be a follower of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ is not a magician. Until that done on all of you, you will stop running, you will not stop running up and down. Bushiri will not be scamming you. Aflukai will not be scamming you. Ubatenja will not be scamming you. Kristoya Kilome will not be scamming you. Um, uh, Ashimolo will not be scamming you. Jeremiah will not be scamming you. Oh, Akafo will not be scamming you. All of them, Suleiman, 
You won't go to any of them because they are scammers. There is no Christ in them. Oh, they, oh, you they go. I they boy, all of them will not be scamming you. Um, oh, you call ya. We not be scamming you. Put you on dry fast. When he's not fasting himself. Once he makes you comfortable in your evil ways, people are people are at peace with him. He feeds the gullible nature of people. But one thing you should understand is that if you look at the whole of this chapter, you realize people who, who bring another Jesus to the church are called false apostles. They are titled men because the Bible says in verse 5, for I verse verse uh, go down straight to verse 12. Verse 13, for such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into what? Apostles of Christ. This is Second Corinthians chapter 11. Our fathers worked one in us. He said, These people that bring another Jesus, these people that complicate the simplicity of Christ by giving you water, giving you oil, giving you all this stuff, they are false apostles apostles of christ verse 14 everyone read it and no wonder for satan himself transform himself into an angel of life so they can transform they can metamorphose they have the spirit of chameleon the chameleon spirit they come with the humility of christ but the spirit of the dragon they look humble. They look quiet. But inside they are devils. They are master in copying. Master in photocopying. In fact, we don't need photocopy machines if we have such guys on ground. They are more powerful, powerful than photocopy machines. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says in verse 15, Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also does what transform themselves into ministers of righteousness whose end will be according to their works you see the bible said they can even transform themselves into ministers of righteousness can i tell you something it doesn't matter the holiness i am preaching we'll bring in another jesus like our fathers have said we'll even transform themselves as ministers of righteousness why they are not from the righteous one why let's consult the lamentation of the almighty through the prophetic anointing of ezekiel in ezekiel chapter 13 verse 19 and when i say ezekiel please don't confuse me with your kenya ezekiel i'm talking about the ezekiel in the bible i wish the one in kenya was like the one in the bible Ezekiel chapter 13. Before somebody says he's mentioning his name. Ezekiel chapter 13. Look at what the Bible says from verse 17. Likewise, son of man, set your face against the daughters of your people now this was god confronting the false prophetic anointing that was working in certain women in the days of the bible it says god, you see can i tell you something our generation don't understand god god cannot condone error god does not condone falsehood whenever there's falsehood in the church god will raise voices to cry against the falsehood that is why we are the cry of the spirit and somebody is asking me can the spirit cry the person don't understand simple english language the word cry is god lifting up his voice like a trumpet and sounding an alarm to a generation that is being misled so that they will come back to the lord the bible says that the glory of the lord shall accompany such a cry making the crooked places straight the voice of one crying in the wilderness as chapter 40. so god will never allow error in his church to take root do you hear what i'm saying god will never allow error in his church to take root god will never allow false prophetic anointing to prosper for too long he will always raise voices to stop it 
I will draw the curtain here. This is for Oropo and Anosike that said we should leave the false prophet alone. We should not expose them. We should not talk about them. Leave them. Let them continue in their, in their evil ways. Let them continue to destroy lives. It's none of your business. You are not Jesus. No. You just heard it. So, Pastor uh, Apostle Takim has responded to their nonsense, to their rubbish. And we are here to work together and stop all the liars on the pulpit. Thank you, my people, for listening. See you on my next video. Bye for now.